Hey there, Cancer. Welcome. Okay, you guys are seeing these readings on Friday morning. I was trying to do them all for Thursday. And um, so I did three of them. I'm doing them in order that to get the most views. I did. I was working on Sagittarius. That was the fourth. And it was like, towards the end, I, I, th that reading took me out. It totally took me out. So I had to stop the reading. And I paused it. And I actually had to lay down. I felt really crappy. And then um, I actually fell asleep. And then when I woke up, I said, okay, let me get, I was trying to get myself back. Whew, it was, it was, that was a, have, they, these readings have been getting stronger and stronger, I have to tell you. And um, so anyway, um, so I said, you know, I can't do any more because I can't, I, my energy is getting totally depleted. So I said, I'd rather give you guys a nice fresh reading so you're a, have to wait a day for it but i think it'll be worth it because these are very intense i don't, didn't want to shortchange you guys so cancer let's see what's going on with you guys as far as your career and your finance i'm going to do one card of each one of these decks just to get some kind of energy it's not going to be for everyone but we'll see what we get on this if we have some kind of area to go into here so we have here this is the pearliest realm is danger lurks, treacherous paths, ominous shadows. Ooh, I don't know if I like starting with that, but let's see what we get. Okay, I'll put that this deck over here. So that's the places. So, I mean, sometimes it's just, a, it's not going to be for everyone, but it might be giving you a little heads up. If you're hesitant about going somewhere for whatever reason, this might be saying, you know, maybe not. And that's what I'm getting from that. That it's not for everyone, but if someone's like, oh, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with that. Always listen to your intuition. If something tells you not to go some, I don't know, tell you how many times I would go the same way somewhere. And all of a sudden, my, my guys would tell me, don't go that way. And I'll go another way. And there would have been an accident, or I could have been in the accident, or would have kept me delayed for like hours or something. So always listen to your intuition, whatever that may mean. And I also always recommend you guys to get a pen and a pen. And as you see the cards of my readings or anybody else's, write down the messages you're getting from the angels and your guides. Come on, guys. Give me a card. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we have, oh, a journalist. Hmm. Is that the path that we have to worry about here? Don't talk to anybody. <laughs> Don't talk to any journalist. Or, okay. So is Chronicle, Chronicle. Chronicler of stories, reporting, interview, inquiry, promotion. Hmm. Okay, so I think you might know if that is for you or not. Let me get one more now. This deck is actually the career money or job money or I don't know what it is, but I can't really, I don't know, I can't, I can't resonate with it so much. That's why I figure I'll do one card of each one of these and see what we get. Oh, death. Someone might owe some money here. So we might be focusing on that maybe for someone. Okay. Maybe that's the path. Maybe saying, watch out. Don't overspend. And maybe the journalist is like, keep reporting what you're doing here so that you know, keep a tr keep maybe keep track of it. That's not going to be for everyone. Okay. So now let's see. First, let's see what the challenge is for you guys, if there is a challenge. Now remember, this is not going to be for everyone. Just take it. It seems like it's for you. So let's see what we get here. Maybe also the journal, what you're spending. Okay, so we, oh, interesting. So this is the Seven of Swords. Ooh, what are we going on? Oh my God. Yeah, be, I don't know. I'm, look how dark that is. There's a light. It's, and it looks, almost looks like a, it's not a spider web, but it reminds me of a spider web in the middle there. Something that might be attracting you to go down there. Okay. Yeah, so I was, look at that, how darkness and something, there's a light drawing you in. And it's watching, you know, so it's like, watch what was lurking in the darkness. It might look like it's bright and light and, and everything, but it might not be. Wow, okay. Then we have here, did I turn it upside down right? Okay, it was right side up. Okay, so this is... The Two of Pentacles. 
Hmm, need to make a decision on something. Are you waiting for something to happen? Because look at this card. This, this this deck is totally different. So I'm going to go by intuition. It's like these people are waiting for the train or waiting for something to happen. It might be... Oh my God, I got to sneeze. You might need to make a, dec a decision. Oh. I didn't know if I was had to pause the tape or not. I didn't know if the sneeze was going to come out. Let's see. Okay, so we have here, this is the King of Pentacles. What is going on here? Are, is there a King of Pentacles you're not trusting too much, maybe? Or is this your energy trying to make a decision on something that you're in the dark about? It almost feels like something like that. You, the challenge is you need to make a decision, but you're not getting all the facts. You're, someone's keeping you in the dark. And maybe you're waiting to see something, waiting to see that come closer so you can make... A decision now the king of pentacles is the most abundant of all the cards in the deck i'm not doing any of the charms or anything i'm just keeping it and this these are getting these readings are pretty long without all the extras otherwise they'll be hour and a half readings or something <laughs> so i want to do that for you guys so let's see here let's see about the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here in the challenge we have a main female Ooh. Is a main female trying to lure you into something here? I'm a little hesitant about this. I mean, this main female could be your energy. It could be someone else's. This could also be um, <clears throat> an important female in your life. It could be a wife, a partner, or even um, a girlfriend. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm surprised that this is starting out. But this is a challenge, so... I'd rather these cards be in the challenge, I think. Or at least that card. Because it might be something that's just giving you a little heads up to be aware of somebody. Maybe up to something. We have your occupation card come up here now. So this is work, business, labor. Um, hobbies. So it's like self-employment. It's... Um, a lot of effort, all mental and physical activities. So take this, because even if you're retired, this might be a hobby that you're doing. <clears throat> and you're trying to make a decision. Are you waiting for something? It feels like you're waiting for something. Need to make a decision or trying to weigh things out, but you don't have all the answers. Someone's keeping something in the dark. And it, it has to do with a female here. Okay, let's see about this King of Pentacles, King of Coins. We have a routine. Well, I think a lot of earth signs like routines. So that makes sense. So daily, daily task. Um, patterns, plan. So predictable. You know, it's like something fixed, something... Um, someone could be accustomed to something here. And, um, yeah, it feels like someone's energy, maybe. But you know what, too? Routine. Then usually, someone probably just likes to be in routine. Some people are like that. They don't like to change things. But then you could depend on it. Hmm. Okay, well, take if that seems to resonate with you. Let's get other cards to try to clarify a little more here. Yeah, the Seven of Swords could be someone trying to hold back, trying to hide something, trying to deceive someone here. And it could be a main female. Or this could be getting done to the main female. If you're the main female, you know you're not doing anything. So let's see. Oh, we have the Tower. Now, this card goes different ways here. This card could mean... This could be a controlling lover with the Tower, believe it or not. Or it could be that someone's setting up their boundaries because of this energy. Or um, it could be someone doing something on their own, being very independent. Maybe other people don't like it. But this also, if you flip it the other way, this could be the tower is like corporations, institutions, um, higher education, you know, like universities or something like that, um, the government, um, anything big, you know, corporation, institution. I have to really write these down somewhere because I 
but yeah so anything like with the tower um, I said organizations yeah okay so I think I got them all <laughs> you know you know what I mean so maybe someone's not trusting something where they work or, or some or some some large entity that they maybe they're dealing with okay let's see here okay we got two I know we got two here right okay look we have a main female waiting again and there's something about now either this is you or maybe someone you're dealing with so here we have Try, you're trying to make a decision not knowing what to do something about maybe someone is on the fence about occupation or what they want to do here but it feels like whoever this is this might be your energy this might be saying hey it seems like I'm in this Lambert thing so it's like every time I take one step forward I take two steps back when this card comes up it always says that you're where you're supposed to be it might be a challenge at this time but it's saying you're where you're supposed to be and maybe you just have to be patient about something if that makes sense for you. You need to wait on something here. So let's see. Ah, so now we have the garden. So, okay, so you might be meeting someone here. Now the garden, oh, I just got a chill. There might be, maybe someone's, oh, maybe this person's interested in you and they know you have a routine that maybe you go to the same coffee shop or you go to the park for your lunch or you know because with the routine that's what it reminds me of here because with the garden this could stand for um networking socializing meetings park a public place an invitation you might be getting an invitation by from this king of pentacles or this could be your energy this also could mean that maybe you're coming into this energy of the King of Pentacles, which is financial stability. And it might be because of your routine or something that you do that stands out. I don't know. You know, take it how it might resonate with you. Okay. So now let's move on to see what happened in the past. Now, if someone has allergies or something, I'm getting all congested. Ooh. Let's see about the past. Okay, so we have here, I gotta put these in the light so I can see them. Okay, so this is very interesting. We have the hangman, and believe it or not, we also have temperance. What about, what were you waiting for? Look how this hangman, he's like stepping on this like rope. He's willing to balance himself on a rope here. It's like you're in the balance, you're hanging in the balance, waiting for something. Temperance is kind of waiting too, being patient. Pisces, Sagittarius energy could be in white, waiting for a Pisces or a Sagittarius. Okay. Another interesting card. Now, this is the Two of Wands. I think this Two of Wands is very interesting. See how this card is? This person is walking. There's something lurking in the back of them. A, a big, like, shadowy figure. But look how big that thing is. So what is, what did you feel like was following you in the past here? Mm. I don't know, Kansas. You guys, uh, hopefully, when, I'm glad this is in the past. Because hopefully that we're going to move into some lighter energy. <laughs> Cause I don't know about this. Let's see. What about the hangman? The waiting, gaining a better perspective. Maybe you knew you had to wait for something, and it, it you know it almost feels it could be anything that you're waiting for something to happen, and it felt like oh my god, this is a dark shadow following me. It doesn't mean that it's actually a dark shadow. It meant that waiting was just you know it's taking its toll, as, and it felt like it was getting bigger because it was taking longer. Let's see about this. We have a playmate. <laughs> okay, let's see about this. We have player, player, games, not serious, informal, recreation, sexual partner, hidden benefits, fun, activities. Okay. 
All right. So maybe you're waiting for a... I know we're trying to do career and, and finance here, but that almost feels like that's more like, you know, a sexual encounter here that maybe you're waiting for. Jeez, oh, I don't know. Let's see. We'll move on. We'll see what else we get. So we make sense of this. The temperance. Balance. We have here thoughts. Okay. So the thoughts, it's reflection and thinking. You're thinking it through from forward to planning something here. Ideas. There could be memories and thinking of someone or a situation. So someone's waiting for something because they're thinking about something else. Okay, so is this a fact that maybe you're trying to make a decision on something, but now you're wondering if this, whatever this was, was not serious? You might have felt more serious than they did. Is that what the case is? Okay, I want to see about this one. Two of Wands. So you're definitely trying to make a decision on something. I mean, it's like you're waiting, waiting, decision, feeling stuck, not moving. That it feels more like a stagnant energy more than anything else. Okay, so we have a caregiver and a thief. Whoa, what's going on? Okay, the caregiver. So this is um, support. This is seek advice. Um, getting help, physical or emotional healing. We have the healer here. Self-care, recovering, and service. So this could either be that you need to um, get some kind of medical assistance of some sort, or you might be a caregiver, but there is a thief here. It's weird because the Seven of Swords is usually someone trying to get away with something, trying to steal something. So we have loss... Um, abandonment, disappointment, missing, um, missing someone or something, theft, okay, deficiency, energy, vamp, uh, okay, energy vampire, with something being removed. Very strong energy here. Okay, let me see. Let me see the um, clarifiers here. Well, oh wow. Okay, you know, I did them backwards, but they wanted to come out. Okay, we have here. So loyalty, a friend. There's something about a home, though, that is in reverse. Something's not happening at the home or something you're waiting for it to happen at the home. Um, so this is something to do... Okay, there's some kind of loyalty, trustworthy friend here. But it's if it has something to do with the family, the home, a situation here, it's slowly coming together here because it's coming in, but it's in reverse. So that might be what you're waiting for. And it has something about maybe... Oh, I don't know. Playing at home? Having someone come to your house and have, but they're not coming. There's something about waiting here and and playmate, a fun, playful, a trust, play, play. Okay, I don't know. Let me go down to the next one and see if I can make sense of this. I feel like there's too much unknown, and that's also the energy I'm getting. It's like I don't, I can't be shown everything right now, and this is past energy. So maybe you're waiting for a friend to come to the home or something and they never showed. Someone you trusted. Just pull this one out. I don't know if I need that other one or not. We have here the temperance card, the thoughts, being patient. Oh, I'm going to grab that other card. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, so we have a main male here that... Might have been very controlling, or there's arguments, or there's something repetitive with the the whip here. This could be also someone trying to control something. Thoughts of someone trying to control something, being patient with someone here, with the main male here, in the past. 
Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now what's going on here? I want to get out of this energy. I'm telling you, I want something better for you guys now. Enough is enough. I'm gonna post this because someone's meant to hear it, but don't take it if it's not for you, please. Oh, look, there's gonna be some kind. Of, there's there was some kind because this is past energy. There was some kind of communication in the past about something with the two of wands. You may be at a crossroads of what to do here about a caregiver. Or someone trying to take something from you. Someone trying to get away with something. But it felt like you had some kind of communication or some kind of insight to that. Okay. If this resonates with you, I think you'll know what it means. But I don't think this is going to resonate with a lot of people, to tell you the truth. It seems too specific here. So let's go on to what's happening in the present. Maybe this will be for you guys. What is happening in the present as far as your career and finances? Let's see what we got. So we got three. Good. So we have here. This is the Ace of Wands. That's nice. And then we have here. The Sun. And. Th you know, this is a weird card for the Five of Cups. It's sunflowers. And the Five of Cups is usually an energy in the regular tarot of um, someone feeling like they they missed out on something. They feel a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for not doing something. But with this, it's something about the sunflowers. So look to the sun because there is passion. There's desire here. There might be a change. I'm always getting different um, information on this deck. So this... I give you the regular tarot because of the cards and the numbers and stuff, but here we have some passionate new beginning that you're dealing with right now in the present. It's making you very happy. It also uh, could be bringing in a lot of passion, a lot of clarity. Uh, um, it's the happiest card in the deck, the sun. And then we have the five of cups with the sunflowers, which I said the sunflowers are always following the sun. So it's like almost saying like, this is what you're doing. This is what you should be doing. You're following your happiness. And they're giving me the word bliss. You're following your bliss. Okay. So let's see here. About this Ace of Wands. Okay, adjudication here. So is there some kind of law thing going on? This advisor is uh, someone maybe going for counseling here. Negotiations. Um, this could be decisions. It could be final decisions too, or um, there might be some kind of conflict, and there's some kind of discernment, moral. And this is also, we got, that's so weird, what is that? So something might be, there might be some kind of, um, it's, it's not, it's a passionate new beginning that maybe you're making a decision on. Maybe that's what that is coming to. Something that you might want to do here. Okay, let's see. Why is the sun here? Oh, you're unlocking something here. Okay, this is getting better. This is getting better. You're unlocking a truth. I think over here we've been totally in the dark and not knowing what's going on here. So now we have here, this is resolution. It's um, revelation. It's openness. It's a new path. Um, solutions, destiny, success. It's significant answers. And it's very influential. So this is good because the key is usually good news anyway. And then you have the sun. So you're getting good news about something that maybe you've been waiting for for a while here. You couldn't make a decision because you felt locked. You felt stuck. You felt like you're going to have to walk a tightrope. That's okay. That's what that Pisces one was. Okay. So wealthy woman. So that this is either you or someone you're dealing with. If you're a female, I would say you're coming to a lot of wealth here. 
If not, if you're a male, you're meeting a wealthy woman. So it's a wealthy, wealthy beauty, youthful, uh, charming, creativity. It's luxury, vanity, good life, high standards, living. Okay. So you know what? It almost feels like with this, look to the sun, look to your happiness. Because it's there. You can achieve this. And just take the words out of these cards that resonate with you. Let's see. About this Ace of Wands and Adjudication. Let's see. Oh, I got these backwards. I wasn't even looking at them. We ha okay, compass. Following your compass, following your true north. Um, that you're you're going to be finding the way. I think you're, you're trusting your intuition and you're going to be very happy with that. We have the fox here. This might be you being very sly and slick because there's there's something, you know, this, we have the fox here, right? Looking behind, but the fox, I don't know if we can see this clear or not. See on the fence, we have a rooster. The fox doesn't see the rooster. The rooster sees the fox. So I don't know if you're the fox or the rooster here, but someone's watching and someone is aware of something. And you're fine. I would definitely think that maybe either if you're the fox, you are out foxing something here. Or you are, you know, is if, you might be very intrigued by something too. Because look how we have this person looking into something, right? And it's interesting because they're looking through the key, at the handle of the key there like it is a magnifying glass very interesting okay we have the cross here so it looks like i would say that you're coming if you have like we started out with someone being in death here so i think that this is saying that there's a wealthy woman so either you're coming into money or this person coming in to you life in the present that's going to help you with this situation whoever is dealing with that because again remember it's general it's not to mean that all it's all for you so let's move on to the future what do we have going on in the future for you guys we have a new beginning this is the fool right you have the fool a new start a new begin taking a leap of faith And this is, yeah, someone's walking away from something here. This is the, um, this is the moon. The 18, yeah, this is the moon, but someone's walking away from something. You can see this, someone's walking away from something. Now, you could be walking away from your fear. You could be trusting your intuition that you need to walk away from something to start something new in the future here. Sorry, I don't use this deck that often, so I have to really look at the cards. And they're totally different. Okay, so we have here. Oh, this is the Four of Pentacles. You know, it's interesting. This is a computer screen, right? And it's like the password. So something you might be protecting something, keeping something quiet here, protecting your passwords would be a good idea too. And of course, moon will be Pisces energy again. And we got Aries and Aquarius. We have the house here. There might be a new beginning as far as the house. This could be real estate. This could be family, something familiar. Um... Security, stability. It could be, um, yeah, the family home maybe, or possession, safety. It could be your neighborhood, strong. Okay, steady. So there's a new beginning. You might be moving into a new house maybe. Is that what you're planning? Uh, relocating or something here? Because this is like moving away from something. And then we have a new beginning. We have the home. Some place that made you feel safer. We have an enemy. See, someone's looking behind. What is going on with you guys? All right. 
So we have here rival. It's frenemies. Um, it's competitors. It's fights. Hostility. Um, be vigilant here. Opposing ideas. Inner conflict. Revenge. Or clashing. See, okay. So... I think you're moving to someplace else because you don't trust something. This could be, you could be real. This is home, this is real estate. But maybe you could even move, be moving because of a job. Because there's something around that someone might have hid something. Because here we have the enemy, frenemy, whatever it is here. Someone might have been hiding something. And look how this person is like looking behind them and walking away. So it feels like you're walking away from this energy. And you're, you're safeguarding something here. Did not expect this in, this reading to get so intense. Jeez. And we have here imprisonment. Oh my gosh. So this is usually like the eight of swords. This is feeling like someone's stuck in their head, um, feeling trapped. So we have here. Why do I get the feeling that someone has a hard time with computers? It feels like maybe they feel like I almost feel like these passwords feel like a prison to someone. That I, you know, I feel that way too. I think everybody probably does. It's such a shame that we have to safeguard everything. Because it's like, there's always something lurking, you know. So we have here, trapped, isolated, um, restricted, stuck, unwanted, um, obligations, holding back, self imposed limitations forbidden you usually a lot of times this is that like the eight of swords it's not really there as much as we it's almost like we're creating something that really isn't real because i mean this person looks like they're in a prison here and they can't get out but usually when you see the eight of swords the person could always walk right through they're not really stuck so let's see what we get on this boy i can't i'm sorry <laughs> But I have to give you the way of what I get here. So let's see. Hopefully it turns around. Because what? look how happy you are here. So what is this going on? I think you just got to safeguard yourself. No, I was. I would always advise people, keep if there's something good coming in your life, keep it quiet. Because you always. that's where this is probably coming in. People getting jealous of you doing well. And maybe you just got to be aware of that. And that's why the password thing is the Four of Pentacles. Keep it to yourself. Okay, look at this. We have a chance here. Look, look, look. This looks good. There is a new beginning. You're taking a chance. There's a reconciliation coming in in the future for you. And that's why maybe someone's jealous. Because this is, could be a return to someone. This could be someone coming in um, with apologies, asking for forgiveness with the heart. It's love. It's romance. It's reconciliation. It's reunion. And someone might be taking a chance and coming to your home, hoping to get a new beginning with you. Okay, that sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, now let's see about this one. Oh, we have two here. Okay, look at this. We have here the moon, hidden, um, intuition, someone walking away from something, which I think is what's happening here. Someone's walking away from someone they realize they can't trust. Because of gossip, of social media maybe, of chatter, of so a conversation. Someone hears something. So they're moving away. Taking a journey. You know, sometimes things happen to push us in a direction. That, you know, it's something you just have to do something. You have no choice because you didn't do it. This almost like, feels like a tower to me. It feels like, you know what, you didn't make a move. You just waited. And since you didn't make a move, someone... The universe puts something there to help you to move on from something. Because now with the ship, you know, the ship is pretty good. The ship is actually, um, well, it's a journey. It's wealth. It's travel. It's long distance. You might be actually relocating long distance to get away from some energy here. Okay, let's get the last one here. book well the book is interesting too because now you're learning something something that could have been closed off maybe with the password maybe that's it something could have been locked up 
So maybe you learn something. And look how the book is closed. So when you get the book, this is referring to secrets. Something hidden, something unknown, something about knowledge, something about learning, something about mystery. It also could be referring to an actual book. Someone might be writing a book about someone. Gossip. Moving away from it. You know? So there might be some information because you are learning something here. So take this out. It might resonate with you. I think if it's for you, you'll know. If it's not, you'll know that too. Okay, let me see here. Let's see what the important information is for you guys. Oh, okay. So there's going to be some kind of agreement or something coming in here. This is the Two of Cups. You have a partnership, something that you're going to agree on. This could be a business partnership. It could be a love connection here. But there's a bond here. You're shaking hands. You're making some kind of agreement. Okay. Ooh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it's, it would deal more with love right now. Because look at this. We got the lovers. Okay. Gemini energy. So I think the universe is telling you you have a very strong connection coming in and love. I don't know. We're doing the career and finance, but love has been coming in for June. Okay, look at this. But someone feels trapped. This is a very interesting card. This is the Four of Swords, which is usually healing. But look, someone feels like they're trapped and they're on display. It's like there's glass. So, you know, they could be seen here. So it almost feels like there might, you might be some take healing something, but it might be other people are aware of this too. And maybe you don't like that too much. It might, I don't know. you got a bunch of nosy people around you or something. Let's see about the um, Two of Cups. Yeah, look at this. So we have, someone might have a short illness from some karmic cycle. Now you're healing something. So yeah, so this was a brief illness, a short illness, a cold or something. And it feels like there's an end to this karmic cycle because now you have an agreement coming in here. Okay, let's see. And we have the family room. I don't know. Is I feel like the family is involved in your business or something. So with the family room, this is private family matters. Um, so this could be something comfortable. It could be matters um, kept secret. Inner, inner soul, intimacy, private discussion, retreat. So what is that going on with the... Okay, the lovers actually could be a partnership of some sort. You might have a choice, too. But it feels like this reading almost feels like your family is... You know, there's secrets. A lot of secrets are things being kept quiet. What is that all about? It feels like this whole reading is on people keeping secrets. Look at that. A false person. Someone is not showing their true self. I can't believe how this reading is turning out. So, um, so there's a false person or situation, and it's like frenemies again, lies, betrayal, bad intentions, deceit, hidden enemy. Manipulation. See, someone is trapped here, trying to heal something but feels trapped. It's weird because we have like healing. Okay. Let's see. I know a lot of you guys are not going to like this reading so far unless it, it gets better here. But I'm going to have to post it for whoever. Someone might just have to know that something around them is not something you trust. It's weird how we started out with that kind of card. And this energy is through with this whole reading. Okay, we have the start. We are cutting something out because you know that it's not right for you. So whatever's going on here, you, I think you're having a connection here that you can trust because you're healing something here and you're cutting out something. And you're and this also could be harvest because we do have 
the star here. So you're following your true north here. Inspiration. This is uh, achievements. So I think you've been fighting something for a long time. It's almost like you've been fighting for your rights, fighting for something that you believe in. And it's been a long battle, but it looks like you're going to win. But boy, tough and dark. Let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah. See, things are getting better here. So we have something about resources, business. There's, There could be a connection here, a powerful connection within the family. Or you might meet someone through the family. Or at the home, or, at, or someplace where it's comfortable, warm. Now, with the fish, this is great because it looks like your money's doing really well. But it feels like you have people around you that are trying to prevent that from happening, if that makes sense. But you're going to conquer that because this is like resources, business, money. It's a spiritual, you're getting a very strong spiritual connection with someone here. So I think the person that's coming in for you is really going to have your back and really going to help you. And together, you're going to be able to beat whatever this is. So let's see here. So that's why I guess love's coming in. They, you probably need this person's support. Look at this. We got the main male now. So we have false person. Here's a main male. I think this main male is helping you. We got different people around you though. Okay. Let's see about the advice and then the outcome. I really want this to be the best. So hopefully all the good cards are left in here. <laughs> so we, we got all the bad ones out. Let's see. Okay, this, this reminds me of a giant cookie. This is actually the six of swords. I mean, in a regular deck, could be moving away from something. But here it's like someone getting together around it. They're actually, it looks, I think it's a trampoline or something. I don't even know what it is. It looks like someone's moving a trampoline, right? And I'm looking, gee, to me, when I first saw it, I said, it looks like, like a lime cookie or something that's dipped in chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I don't have the book to this deck. When I got it, the, there's no, like when they first came out with this deck, it had a book and, and this just has nothing. And I think it had a little, little pamphlet, but I'm not going with that anyway. I'm using my intuition and six of swords usually moving away from something, but I think you might be getting some kind of assistance with moving something. You know, it's something that has to be adjusted or moved or something. So yeah, there's going to be balance here. We have the justice card here. Some someone you're getting advice is you're going to get help from someone to move something, to adjust something, to do something. And you might be actually literally moving, and you might have a new contract coming in. But something's going to be more balanced. I'll leave our energy, and then we have there the chariot, Cancer, your energy. So things are going to take off pretty quickly once they start going. I feel like you're you're making. That's why you had to wait for a while because things had to be exposed or be shown. I think, and. So we started out with this card that something's lurking. In the, I think that puts you on high alert. I think you were realizing that you shouldn't just jump into something because you're not trusting it. And that was for a very good reason then. That was to prevent you from going down the wrong way, the wrong street, the wrong path, whatever the hell it was. Here, let's see. Let's see about the Six of Swords. We have despair. So someone is, I think someone's in despair because you're moving on. And you're getting help from others. Let's see about the judgment. The main male. Okay, I think there's someone here, a main male that's helping you. Or you're the main male and so, someone's helping you. Now we have it. manifestation. Yes, look at this. And we have the cherry. Okay, once, see, you're supposed to wait for whatever reason here. And then it almost feels like, okay, this, the energy I'm feeling here is like, oh my God, you've been through so much lately. And it's like, that's why you're afraid to make a move because you're afraid that what else is going to come in is a type of energy, right? And the thing is that by doing that, you're standing back. And you're seeing things, how they're actually playing out. 
instead of rushing into it and being stuck in it. I'm get, I keep on getting, I don't know why I keep on getting the, the thing about the forest through the trees. It's like you have to step out of the forest to see the trees. You can't be in it to see it. So you had to step back and look at it. And I got to go, to, they're telling me to go back to the, um, this one. It's not this one, is it? No, it's this one. Go back to this guy. Yeah. See how this person is like, okay, I'm going to check this out. But see how they know that they have to like, sort of walk on something here that's not very secure. So they're going to wait until they have a better way of doing something. And that's what you're doing. Okay, let me get a clarifier on these. But someone is not happy that you're figuring things out, it feels like. I think they almost wanted to have you stuck. Look at this. There's a new beginning and someone's not happy about it. This is a child. I could have something to do with child, but I don't think so. You're moving away from something, this despair, and it's bringing in a new start, a new beginning. Okay. Look at this. Yeah. You're looking at things very closely now. You're going to make a judgment. You're going to make a decision. You want things balanced. You want things right. There might be a contract come in. I think there's a male helping you here. And this is to look at things very closely at the magnifying glass. Read the fine print or whatever you have to do. Okay, and the manifestation. I love it. Look at this. There's a gift coming in for you. There's something coming in. This is happening very quickly. Once everything settles and once you get things going, your life is going to take off very quickly in a very fast direction. You're going to manifest. There's gifts coming in for you. The universe is gifting you something here. Okay, so now let's see about the outcome. It's been a tough road. I think that's what we mainly had to see is that, yeah, and you're thinking, okay, this was the reason why this reading came out is because someone's feeling like I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not getting anything done. I don't feel like things are happening. I feel like I'm at a standstill. You were at a standstill because there was little things like almost like thrown in your path. So you couldn't jump ahead into something that would have been bad. So I think it was all, to, uh, you know, like they said, um, rejection of God's protection. And so if you felt rejected for some reason, for maybe trying to get jobs, you weren't getting the jobs, or the job that's coming in wasn't ready for you yet. That's why. Okay, let's see. The outcome we have. Okay, we have two here. So this is the, this is the page of swords. And then we have judgment. Oh my God, look at all these. Oh, do I want to take them all? This can make it so much longer. Okay, I guess I have no choice. I'll go through them real quick. Okay, what we don't see coming is... Yeah, there's a world card. It's like completion. It's like... Things are falling into place, it seems like, for you guys. Okay, so there, you're completing something here. Let's go through this real quick. I'm not doing any of the words, thank God, because it would take so much longer. The Page of Swords is like... Someone's coming towards you or chasing you or... Um, but there's a, there's a judgment that you have to make here. And it has to do with, what is this? This is a Six of Wands. You are getting attention here. And we have here the Eight of Swords. Someone's in their head about something. And we have here, okay, but we do have, this is the Six of Wands. You're definitely getting some kind of recognition. And this last card is, the Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a partnership coming in. Okay, I think you just had a lot of decisions to make here. I'm going to only put three cards out on these. Just put them all together. Oh, look, three cards. That's what we need. Okay, so we have here Great Water. The Great Water is um, yearningness, dreams, wishes, goals, abroad um foreign people spirituality broadening horizons new views so you might be traveling and then we have success and love so romance love um falling in love is new love 
successful outcome in love. Um, it also can be mutual love and intense, okay, intimacy, loyalty, and then we have seduction. Whoa. Okay, guys, you might actually, are you ready for this? You might be falling in love with someone in another country, a foreign country. Okay, they might be here or wherever you're at, you know, they might be in your country, but it's like they might be, there's a seduction going on here. Because look at these cards. And this is all about maybe worrying about something, trusting something. Um, someone might be very much interested in you. Okay, let's see what else we get. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, let me see what's on the bottom of this deck. So we have, yeah, you're going on a journey. You're traveling. Okay, expect some travel. You might meet someone in your travel. So we have leaving old families situations. Letting go of the past getting away life's journey travel vacation okay you if someone is ending something to start something new i don't i won't be surprised if you guys actually move to another country from where you're living that would not surprise me <laughs> let's see what we get on this well, we got two here the bridge a connection and then this is Okay, so there is a bridge, a connection, a reconciliation. It's meeting someone here. And this also, there's an ending for this to happen. So it looks like you're ending old ways, old, may, I don't know. You're then put, stopping something, ending something. And there could be some kind of reconciliation, some kind of bridge that you're, you're building here. Or something's happening here. Okay, one more. There, you might be a little unclear at this time. Things might be cloudy, but you're working. But look at this. At the end, whatever you're doing here, you're going on a journey. You're ending something for something new, and then you get the moon. And the moon in in these cards is like fame, recognition. It's um, dreams. It's attraction. So okay, you've been through a really rough time, but it looks like everything is gonna work out better than you ever imagined. So just know that all this stuff was not in vain. It feels like the worst that we had it, it seems like in the end, our gifts are the greatest. And so just keep that in mind and stay positive because what you think about, you bring about. So that's it. That's what I feel like going on for you guys. Because this was a really tough, these reads have all been tough. But this one, I felt like, wow, how could we get all bad cards? It almost felt, I mean, though know, things were coming up good. And that's to show you, you can manifest this. You know how to manifest and you're putting an end to these burdens. Just stay um, positive. And there's gifts coming in for you. And it seems like there's a very strong connection coming in here. A very strong love connection. I don't know if maybe you don't have to work. There's wealth coming towards you. It almost feels like we didn't really focus on the work as much. Because maybe you're coming into some kind of, some kind of wealth here. And you're going to have more leisure time to enjoy life. You might just do investments instead of actually working. I mean, not that that's not working, but you know what I mean. It's not like you're going to have to go and punch the clock for a nine to five job. I don't. I don't see that in here. I see that there's money coming in, and you could do what the heck you want after you get through something here. All right, guys. So there's the reading. I hope it resonates with you. And um, I'm sorry about the bad times, but you know we have to have some bad times in order to appreciate what's good. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any appreciation for having good times so thank you so much um please like this video please share this video um you know leave comments because you know your sign is a little um like sometimes i can do your reading because you're up there and then when you get low views and low comments and it doesn't get out there enough then you're not in the group so you you got into the career and finance and i'm glad you did so hope to see you again real soon because I'm just doing the top views. So um, keep that in mind. So make sure you share. Even if you send it to yourself. You know that will be sharing. Um, but okay. Thank you so much guys. I love you so much. I appreciate all your love and support. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.